Let's just check out gold. Mm, I mean, you guys have me right now, so I might as well just you understand. I might as well do everything that people want me to do. Yo, oh, guys, this one hurt my heart also. It hurt my heart, man. Gold. I was gonna get a perfect. Guys, I don't even know how to how to tell you guys this one. Because I was looking at the two zones that I highlighted. Ne? This week basically is, 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 is not my week. So I was looking at this this setup right here, right? So it's in the H4. So the market gives us a sharp, sharp movement down here. But then I was looking at the candlestick before the sharp movement right there, right? So the market moved away from this zone. It came back. Actually, I did think it. I think it did violate. Maybe I'm the one who didn't see it properly. Cause normally I would draw my zone like this, and then I would enter here. You understand? But now I went to, to form this zone here, so I knew there was liquidity at this zone. Meaning, there's a lot of people waiting to enter the market at this zone. There's a lot of people putting their SLs and TPs at this zone. So. I knew the market is going to respect this zone, right? It came and hit this level and went up. So now when it came back to this zone, I was expecting to go in for a what? For a sell. I was expecting to go in for a sell from where? From this zone and go down with it. Because now, if you look at the structure, I told you guys, me, I look at, I look at the overall trend of how the market is going. This market is dropping nicely. This market is dropping nicely, geez. You understand? So it doesn't make sense to try and look for buying opportunities when the market is clearly selling like this. Like it's rough. You can see the sales, to perfect sales, right? So usually my type of setups, I would look for zones like this, right? I would look for zones also like this. So, meaning all these areas, these are areas where I'll, I'll be entering the market and then going down with it. You understand? Entering the market, going down with it. Upon uh, resistance zones and stuff like that. So, I only focus on resistance or supply zones, if you want to put it like that. Or key levels. Basically, key levels. You understand? So, there's another one right here that I'm seeing. But the market already made contact with this zone at this point. And for me, if a market already made contact with the zone, it, for me, it doesn't really give me that effectiveness. Usually, I, that's why I take my L's. Like I'm telling you guys, I had a zone here, the market went to touch this zone, tap this zone. So now, when I wanted to enter here, it violated me. So usually, I don't like to look for areas where now the market is already touched. I, look, I, like, I prefer clean zones, you understand? Because even this zone that I'm having here, it's already been tapped. It's already been tapped here. You understand? So there was already a sell trade that was given out. So even this zone here, it's already been tapped. I don't even have to bring it this far. It's already been tapped. So maybe the next zone I can look for is this one. Before I can sell gold. I think it's still going to retrace a little bit. But maybe... Maybe the structure might make a lower high and then go and make a high high before testing this zone here. And then that's where now I can enter myself back to this zone, you understand? So, as of right now, I'm not looking for buys. I'm only going to look for a sell if my market goes to hit this place. And then, in terms of gold, right? And then my TP can be somewhere down here. We have been milking. You understand? Because everybody's saying, well, not everybody. There's someone in here saying, uh, you won't make money in August because this bird is the 23rd of August. And if you check our results, if you check our results, this was used JPY. If you check uh, Euro JPY, you understand? If you check, what is, what's this? Euro USD. This is all, this is this month's results. You understand? My people are eating, fam. I don't, I don't know why you, what you guys are saying about August because we've been eating. My results are here. But 
but actually that's a good thing. I never, I, I've heard about it before, but you know what I'm saying, I've heard about it, but I just don't think it's true for us. It's the, niggas, niggas have been eating. Uh, but I would actually like to check and verify. But like we've been eating, we can see we've been eating. But I would like to verify. August bad trading month. Let's 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 verify. So CNBC says August is living up to its reputation as a lousy market month, but no one's panicking. Okay, so I guess maybe it's true. My bad. My bad play. My bad play. I didn't. I, I, I say I wasn't trying to. I say, but I just, I just wasn't away. Yeah, August is seasonally weak month, but it's really tough going for several stocks. That's crazy. Volatility slows down due to summer season. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So I learn something new every day. Today I just learned something, you know what I'm saying? I just learned something today. Shout out to you, friend. But yeah, we've been doing good so far this month. Okay, let me let me kill let me kill the music real quick. Let me worry about it. Lowest amount in our country can trade with your trading style. Very interested. Lowest amount. Like if you're trading with less than 1k, to me that's the lowest amount. Any any amount less than 1k. You have to trade, uh, what you call? You have to trade micro, uh, micro, micro instruments, micro accounts. Any amount less than one k, micro. Don't even waste your time like that. And then any amount more than one k, now you you can start talking the language. But if you wanna trade indices, you gotta have more than two k. That's uh two two thousand rands or my one fifty USD. They then you can trade indices. How big is my drawdown on gold? On gold, I rest 0.5% of the account. So I took a 0.5% and then on NAS, I also entered 0.5%. So, you know what I'm saying? I was going to make 1% on the win. It was, actually, on gold, it was going to make more than 1%. It was a. Uh, I was risking 0.5% to make about 3%. So, <laughs> actually, it was crazy. You feel me? So on NAS I was risk, I was risking a one to one. So on NAS I was just risking zero point five percent to make it zero point five. But gold was gonna was gonna do a lot. Fam, people have drawn down today. I don't know what's up. The market doesn't want. The market doesn't want today, man. She on a period today. The market is on a period today, so we we have to understand. You feel me? We have to understand. I even tried to sweet talk her today, but she she didn't want me. I was trying to talk to her nicely, like yo, give me something today, please. You know what I'm saying, give me a little something. You feel me? She did not want at all. So I'm like, man, it is it is what it is. It is what it is. We move. 